Hi, everyone, and welcome back to The Blitz. It is almost spring, and what better way to celebrate it than playing some more fraternity? Um, we got a great group for you today, so everyone come and say hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. It's a very Hello. silent hi. <laughs> <laughs> we have two familiar faces, and we've got a new person, Olympia. So thanks for joining us. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Um, I'd say I'm excited to, uh, bust everyone's chops on the board, but I haven't played much recently. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Um, should we just I think my, in? my prediction for this game is that Olympio is going to yeah, sweep we... all of us off. Yeah. I've actually played a game with this boy where he had to attempt to lose and he still won. So like, that's where we're at. And oh. I'm not looking forward to this. So, well, I am, I am, to be clear, I am, I'm very excited about it. I just, you know. <laughs> It's going to go um, one way for me. <laughs> well, that's a, uh, this, this will be an inspiring game, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me share my screen and let's just get to <clears throat> Uno Momento. All right. Right, right. Can you see my screen, everyone? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Let's do it. And I'm going to rotate. I am still waffle fries because I have limited creativity and I really like the name. Okay. Yeah, ready? Cute. I think it's really cute. Before you came on, Priyanka, you were talking about how much, uh, right here, I'll just start this while we go. Um, <laughs> you know, I, perfect fries in perfect form. Mm -hmm. um, let me move. I've got like my. Is there the dot? What's the deal with the dot? What well, was it again? What's the deal with the dot? Waffle dot fries. Oh, because I don't, can I do two separate? Because you, so you can actually see like the two different words rather than. Well, you aren't allowed to have a space. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe you are allowed to have space, but I've gotten, I don't know. That's a good question. <clears throat> nah, I, 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 thought why? You were I just, tech. okay. Is it already it, going? It's a strategy. I think, I see. What happened? his queen and his bishop are already aligned it's like it's been 30 seconds um <laughs> you know okay shouldn't have said anything i did it again i did it again i do this every time i'm not going to tell you what i did but it was stupid <laughs> oh. <laughs> it kind of reminds me honestly your current position it's not at all the same but it reminds me of the the position that Madhu played, I think, definitely in the game that we played with him and Sabrina, but also um, mm. in the in the other one. Um, I think maybe in the the last episode as well, um, the one that he learned from that kid. Um, oh, the one he learned from the school. school? Mm. Yeah, because there's something about the way that like that really stresses me out, but it worked so well for her and for Madhu as well in the game that I played with him in. Um, what is and the that, opening? I haven't seen that one. I don't. It's um. I don't remember it fully, but she moves both of her central pawns and then aligns, uh, the um, aligns like the the like some of the more uh, mobile pieces <laughs> to be more protective. If I remember correctly, it's been a while. But um, but I remember particularly moving the central pawns and then being like, oh, I don't have to worry about this anymore. And that was just something that I didn't necessarily understand at the time. Interesting. That's actually really exciting. I think people coming up with new stuff is, is fantastic. Mm -hmm. and, um, probably unsurprising that some young folks are coming up with, with stuff that is, yeah, that the rest of us haven't thought about yet. That's very yeah. interesting. Totally. I just, it's, I think it's also particularly interesting because like, I think it's because of people like that, that um, you like learn to see the game in new ways, because for me, especially when you, and not just for me, I think, I think it's fair to say this for literally anyone, like if you're constantly playing with the same set of people fairly frequently, the, while there's nothing wrong with that, of course, it's easy to kind of fall into a pattern of thinking about the game and thinking about how you play it and approach it. And I think that like, Especially, especially for something as pivotal, let's say, to like the game is moving the central pawns. I think that just like really changes the feel of the game. And that was what I told Madhu as well, was that his game felt so completely different to me because he did that. 
because it's mm. not yeah. usually approaches things. And so it was really interesting. Yeah, it's one of these things which are, I mean, at least currently, it's it's not considered wise to move the central pawn until late, right? And so if you actually come up with a good, like an effective way to do that early, I think it will throw everybody off because mm -hmm. it's, it's just like a completely mm. new sort of branch of the game, which I don't think has been explored really at all. So that's That's awesome. I tried to explore that on the last episode of the show, which I don't think and you guys have out. seen uh, yet. No, it didn't work. So I did the whole thing where I was like really creative and trying something new. So I tried this thing where you like move the more central, the central pawns and you don't protect the other pawn and it just okay. hangs out there. And then you have multiple pieces under attack from multiple people because you defended nothing because you were stupid. That's what I did. I thought it was really creative. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> didn't go <laughs> that sounds harsh yeah well, it was uh the game uh, ended rather quickly <laughs> <laughs> what is that saying to to make an omelet you have to break some eggs or whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's also i don't know what the quaternion equivalent would be but i had an english teacher in high school it's one of my favorite teachers who's i think other favorite saying for me was um not the omelet breaker. It was mostly, it is better to be thought an idiot than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. That was a, uh, that's sort of. <laughs> I, that was I love that. That's <laughs> and reflected my paternity game last time. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, amazing. Wow. A very good teacher. Mm, this is that flow to my vocabulary. <laughs> I don't know, Olympia. Maybe it'll sound cool, but for sure, it's uh, for everybody else. It dates us. <laughs> Olympia, have you ever had the chance to to play Quaternity with any of your friends? No. Um, sometimes uh, during my free free period, I'll play yeah. Quaternity. Yeah. Um, and I'll usually play against the bots. Yeah. Um, and all my friends, they all look very confused, but at the same time, very intrigued. That was a very intriguing game, to say that. Um, but oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely try to get them into it. I'd just be curious because we're we're running this this thing with some with, with a school in India where we're trying it out, and actually, yeah, kids um, were your age and maybe a couple of years younger than you. Mm -hmm seem to be taken to it pretty quickly so we'll be curious and are already coming up with openings which is which is pretty wild yeah that is cool doing i don't know what i'm doing i don't, I don't think anyone knows what they're doing does anyone know what they're doing right no i need to pay some attention <clears throat> no, sorry, Olympia. I just I just registered your question, but um, I'm also honestly convinced that Quaternity is the sort of game where, like, the less you come to it with, the more you can get from it. If you know what I mean, I feel like that's a very vague statement. What I mean is that, like, the less, the fewer expectations you have of the game, like, the more you stand to learn from it and like get something. Um, and I say that. And I, it's connected to me from what you just said. I don't know if that was a stupid, that was a stupid move. That's fine. Okay. I completely, we're fine. I don't know. Why was it? I don't think it was that stupid. Why was it that stupid? <laughs> oh. No, no, don't. Mm -hmm. She but didn't he hasn't see said it. anything. I might've missed it. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. <sighs> Over time. <sighs> and he was missing something. Sorry, hon. No, no, no. It's okay. I, I mean, if I should have just shut up. Which... I appreciate your boldness. Makes the game fun. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, Olympia, you should start a quaternity amongst uh, soccer players. Sort of like a, I read some article about how there was a football team that was playing. It got big into playing. It was one of the northern football teams. I don't know if it was like the Vikings or something. Played a lot of like regular chess. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Actually. Interesting. 
Mm. Oh, that actually wouldn't have been a terrible move if I thought about it a little bit more. Ah, oh, yeah. Why it's all in. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like I always notice when people move their central pawns. Yeah, it's a bit um, bold. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Just to finish my earlier thought, um, when I callously threw away my bishop and then let La Natalie know that I threw away my bishop, um, hmm. was that <laughs> um was that I find that that's why I find it super interesting to play with people who are younger or people who haven't played the game much is like they just bring such a fresh perspective. To it and you you just I think like everyone on the board tends to get more out of it when there's less of that like set pattern of thinking about it which is cool I mean, <clears throat> that was my big insight for the day the thing to remember is just that it's um it's very early in the game right and so there's a, I think there's just a lot that we haven't like there are just so many possibilities and we haven't tried most of these things yet and so yeah, it's not surprising to me that when somebody else comes in with with a new perspective, um, they come up with a completely different different mm -hmm. side of take, um, just because of how early it is. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I knew that was silly. <laughs> I said the first instinct is to eat. I still want to take the bishop. Oh, I remember that. I think I've lost my horse for no reason. Silly girl. Um, what can we do? You know what? No, you know, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I'm crazy. There we go. <laughs> whatever. Lost, I lost a lot of time overthinking that one. Olympia, now you see place. how it is. <laughs> It's a bold move, and I respect it. <laughs> um, ooh. Well, that helps Priyanka more than me. You know, I always feel like taking the, the diagonal person's bishop always seems to help one more than that. That's true. It does reduce the pressure. On... Yeah. So in retrospect, taking the sacrificing my piece to help someone who was attacking me probably wasn't my brightest move. Yeah, let's do this just for fun. Hmm? Ah. Oh. I mean, do you? Mm. Mm. Silly girl, what are you thinking? Not much, obviously. Um, oh, wow, it's a serious attack. She started it. <laughs> I will also probably lose it, but it's fun while it lasts. I don't know. I think they'll do well. I I think in the last like it's either two out of three or three out of three games, I've given away the checkmate on myself to people. How do you yeah. do that? You give away a checkmate on yourself, like you just didn't see that there was a checkmate. 
I, I had options and I picked the option that like put me in a very obvious checkmate and I realized <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> it's been a, uh, it's been great. That's <clears throat> All right. Uh, this, this one needs to become a little more involved. Mm -hmm. Under pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, I do that. That could be interesting. That could also be stupid, but it could be interesting. Well, oh, quite fascinating. I love it. That is interesting. <laughs> oh dear. Things are starting to pick up the pace. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna sit back and watch it. <laughs> just watch it happen. <laughs> 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 Gotta be careful, man. You never know when it'll swing your way. <clears throat> that's true. That's so true. many people. All right, that's fine. They're interesting people. Okay. Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. So it's slightly nerve wracking when you're attacking someone, and so is a person, Shreyas, who is much better than you. <laughs> you're attacking a better player with somebody else. Sorry, I should stop talking. I'm just losing time. <laughs> Speaking about. Hey, I closed the line. I closed the line. I, I, I could have chosen to put green in check. You probably because you're gonna wheedle your way into something much more clever. I see. Let's. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. That liberates me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you played a Blitz before, Olympia, where it's only five minutes? I don't think so. Interesting. Is, is the is the pace of the game complicated given you often play so live? I mean, not really. Um, it's oh, there you go. I'm uh, right here. What is this? Come on. I mean, come on. No, the the pace is. I think it's actually pretty good it's not too slow it's not too fast mm. Mm. okay because there is there does seem to be a lot of like fluff and so it is nice to have more time to think about like more moves with the longer yeah. games but i also think like sometimes you spend like eight minutes a person not doing very much and then you end up in the same spot yeah, yeah. i guess that's the charm of doing a blitz because you don't have that much time to think about it, which makes it mm. that much fun. Sorry, Priyanka. That's okay. Yeah, I was wondering why you decided to go for that. For what? Because I didn't see it. 
Hmm. Was that the only option? No, I could have brought my queen back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. What are you drinking? Yeah, good, good, good play. Oh, it's 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 this um sparkling water thing called Aura Bora. Bora. We all have our liquids. <laughs> the geriatric three quarters of the group. I have coffee. What do you have, Priyanka? I have hot water and lemon. <laughs> I think I win the prize for oldest. No, you win the wellness prize. That's the most well. This is uh, some hip D to C brand, mm. which only sells online. Oh, interesting. Um, someone's making my life difficult. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. You got two queens. I know. I'm trying to figure out how best to. All right. I think this. I always like watching play for people who then get um, who like have to watch more of the board and are actually like covering more of the board. Yeah. Yeah. It's really silly, Natalie. It's a stupid move. Mm. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Mm, nice. It's not a bad limb. I like it. We're actually doing pretty well on time. I think this is better than I'm used to doing with time. Yeah. I'm pretty bad with the shorter games, I think. So So you actually make use of the time that you get in the longer games? Yeah, I do. I do. Because some of these like middle game positions, like for example, when Priyanka was getting attacked, like I would have spent a lot more time trying to figure out if I had alternatives, you know, it's like mm. that, that kind of thing. Did you play remind me, did you play regular chess? Yeah, some. I mean, I was I was never like you know, super good at it or anything, but I, but I mean, that was all right. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've got the wisest tactics going on here, to be honest. What are you doing? Why would you do that? I see. You know, the really nice thing about watching um, a game, especially when you've played it, so you're kind of tapped into the feel of it, is like to see how things are kind of moving and to see where the energy is kind of going to go after. Mm. Um, and it's super fascinating to be able to just like sit back and watch the flow of the whole thing. Yeah. And kind of how it's moving. You're a good spectator. I I struggle actually with like all sports to to be watch. a spectator. Yeah, I'm a really bad spectator. <laughs> I got very very good at spectating because I was terrible at video games as a kid, and I would just sit and watch shows play all the time. Aww. Um, That's really you know, you want to be part of it, even if you're not good at it. And so it's like, so recently I visited him. And 
I was trying to get like I was like, oh, let's play video games. And so we played FIFA. Natalie, when I tell you, I could not have been worse at that game. We lost every time, every time. We were playing on a pretty hard difficulty, but yeah. We were. And honestly, it took me like a couple games to get a hang of the moves and how to actually make it work and all of that, considering I've never actually played video games my entire life. But it was just one of those things that like I was just I will say the game that I had played as a kid, I did fine on. Um, but the but FIFA was like I'm trying to really clean my language up. It's difficult. It was it was not a very easy going thing, but it was just remind I was just like thinking about that recently is like I think that trained me very well to kind of look at how things are happening and it's just also, it's also very it's very very nice particularly with quaternity to be able to watch people who are good at the game play there's something mm. just very um satisfying about that I don't know at least for me I think you understand it more than I do because I'm mostly like uh yeah Sorry, Natalie. Oh, come on. I didn't even see it. I was so perseverating Sorry, over you. Ah, <laughs> oh, silliness, silliness. Ah, Olympio, you have to prove me right. Don't come let on, him. Olympio, crush him. Crush right. him like a little bug. I know he, it looks like he has a lot of pieces, <laughs> but you're better. So just go for it. I mean, he does have a lot of pieces. I mean, yeah, but. Eh. <laughs> you know what's sort of fun for the show is if we, like, when it gets down to this point, if, like, you can sort of like form team like you can i don't know like if shreya said to like silence his sound and then like the two of us like work with olympio to like so it sort of becomes like three versus one <laughs> do this do this it actually would would be pretty good that would be interesting I, I, I think the time is the big challenge right 50 seconds yeah. is like mm-hmm. the, the, the yeah um, yeah that's kind of i have an, a new strategy that i'm gonna put into their place but. deploy yes mm-hmm. i feel so stupid you can spend so much time focusing on checkmating somebody else and don't work on your own defense i mean to be fair you were trying to checkmate me <laughs> i was so one does need to keep an eye on one's own turf um speaking of video games do you remember i'm really dating myself do you guys remember the game diablo 2 back in the day yeah, it's a legendary game it is so much fun. This is, it's the reason I don't play computer games. I lost way too much time in high school playing this game. Um, but I, it was fun. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but you could like play like in teams on, it was sort of like, I guess World of Warcraft I didn't play, but it's probably similar. Like like you and your friends could play in your houses like together, like as groups. And I had like the the mage wizarding one. And I, I guess it's like you advance in levels. You like put your like points or like your uh, your developmental growth like in one of two areas, like either mana, so like your magical strength or like defense. And sort of like this game, I put everything in mana and had like literally something could pinch me and I would die because I had so little. Uh, mm. I put like nothing into like the strength defense category. It just happened. Yeah. It irritated one of the, my friends that I played with enough that they actually bought me a set of armor because you could like buy things as well instead of like winning them through skill because I was the people got tired of waiting for me as I died yeah. repeatedly in the video game. And and you just are out of stubbornness, you refused to. I just want to be able to do all the powerful magical things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stubbornness and stupidity. I see. It was a really fun game. This is the way to do this. Retake. Oh, he took that. That was terrible. Terrible. Hmm. This is. I think I'm very middling at closing these kinds of things out quickly, especially given this. 
the the knights are annoying exceptionally so there were a couple of points way before where if you'd done something different i think it would have been faster for you i believe it sorry how do you even notice these things i'm just so impressed you can notice them who i'm just really impressed that you notice these things because I, I really struggle to see things and I'm both playing. Well, well to be clear, I don't know that it would have worked to mate faster. I know that it, well, no, no, no. I do know it would have worked to mate faster. I don't know what the projection of the mate would have been. Mm-hmm. Um, at least I think it would have worked to mate faster. Um, but also my party line is that I'm supporting Olympia. So like, I'm not going to help share us about it <laughs> until the game is done. But yeah. when you watch, are you... Do you pick one one color and basically like watch like what would I be doing in this situation? Are you are you sort of like seeing globally? Like how are you approaching it? I typically in, in general I tend to look at the thing more overall and kind of just see where things are going and where they're flowing. And I think I function better as that sort of a person. And I think that's what I like to learn when I'm actually playing is that you you have to find the balance between like focusing on yourself and focusing on everybody else. But I only ever focus on myself when I'm playing because I'm usually too overwhelmed um, by the number of things to watch for, especially when you're playing with people who are so much better than you. Like it's, I get very um, in my head about it. Come on, what is... Making me run around in circles, Olympia. I don't like it. Good for you. We're done as time. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Mm. Ah. Oh, good game. Good game. Oh, very yeah. well defended. That was very yeah. Well yeah, that was yeah. Are you a defensive soccer player or are you offensive? Very offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man, you should have jumped in there earlier. It would have been, yeah. uh, it would have been uh, more straightforward than um, for you to jump in on Natalie after. True. Well, he was lining up pretty well. Uh, it was a good position. Hard. It was a good position. But when you have three queens and that you can just throw away, yeah. it, it becomes. Good. Harder to <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That was where were the three the three queens? Oh, you had three queens. Yeah, I yeah. Had three queens at a point. Yeah. Natalie, fine. can you go back to one sixty seven? One sixty seven. Cool. One moment, please. Okay. Yep. Here. Oh, sorry. Your board. Okay, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm put it on my screen because I can't. That's confusing me. But. So you see where Shayos had his two queens lined up down here on J2 and K1, and then he had his other queen up here on F7. Mm -hmm. So I was unsurprised when he kind of took the first, when he took the rook, because I figured that would happen. But then I was surprised, and I'm curious, Shayos, why you didn't take your queen on F7 to A12. Sorry, but this is, here's this that happened. Like, like, I'm curious if you saw something that I didn't see, because to me, that, like, you you would have to, like... Right. Move it to A12, and then you could still to... block. I mean, yeah, maybe... You could still block, been... but... Yeah. I mean... No, maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I think you move it to A12, and then if you move it to A12... Like you should, can you open it up in the the, the study board? The study board, yeah. Oh. Um, give me one sec. All right, you want to take it from this? So here, everything is intact. You want to take it from here? Yeah, yeah, that's good. One moment. So while that's thinking, yeah, okay. So it's reversed. Um, sorry, this is the the natural because I had rotated. So this is That's the natural okay. way. 
That's okay. Yeah. So, so I mean, I think okay. So you we get the we move the j to queen to a ten uh, b ten. So we need to move the the castle off. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then the question here was the queen takes queen. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The yeah, queen yeah, takes so queen. That, that yes. You move the castle off. And then it's like, can you move the other queen to a12, right? Is the question. Yeah, move that. Because you can. So then you move this king to um, c9. And maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's like actually a better position. Yeah. Because I was thinking if you did that, then like yeah, granted yeah. your queen's like not like in quote unquote like unsafe territory, but you had so many mobile pieces that I thought you could actually leverage that a little bit better at the time. Yeah, actually for sure. I mean, if we move king to to C to B9, then I can take one of the, the, the horses. I could have done. Yeah, that's true. I think this actually would have been better. Um so that was that was the here. first point at which I thought maybe if you'd done something different, it would have ended more quickly. And then the second point was which, mind you, it's very easy for me to sit here when I don't have to play and say all this. So, like, I, I want to call it. No, that, no, but... I mean, it's just you're right. Um, and also over here at 190, I think it was, um, or 188. But that point, you, there was, um, God, I have to remember because I saw it and I didn't want to say anything at the time because that's not useful. Um, but there was, I didn't feel like, I, there was a point where you could have used your rook instead of moving your knight um, yeah. because your rook yeah, was on that open. possible. It's just, I have too many pieces right now. So it wasn't. Yeah. That, and so. it was hard. No, no, no. Which is why it was like, it was like, it, it's a hard thing to play with this many pieces. Like you, there's more chances of missing things because there's so much you have to pay attention to. But yep. I remember thinking about your rook and being like, actually, again, it would be one of those things that would end a lot more quickly um, yeah. if you utilize that. Um, for its mobility but those were the only two points that i was thinking that would be interesting i think the first one for sure is is, um, is true but i was actually i was very certain that that's what you were going to do so it took me by surprise when you didn't because i called you doing your thing with the queen but i didn't think that i thought you i thought that's what you had planned i thought that's what you were going to do is take the other queen and then move it up and then mm -hmm. um, yes. do that but interesting I was actually pretty happy you didn't do either of those things. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. So, uh right. Any other any other points you wanna reflect on? I don't think so. I thought it was good. I mean, I think I think Natalie, your attack on me was good, except you you forgot to pay attention. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> like a, that. I mean, it was yeah. It it wasn't easy to yeah. It, it could have gone poorly. I should have um I should have recognized it though because it didn't make sense for you to move there defensively. I was like, why is he just like opening up this line for me? Great. Um, yeah. So I should have known something was up. Uh, yeah, silly. Anyway, all right. I think I'll stop sharing my screen. Give me one minute. So. Again. Thank you, guys. That was very fun. Thank this you. Fun. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. We'll see you, I think, next month. I don't know if we have any new shows coming out. We have our usual puzzle room okay. um, that comes out every couple of weeks, which Natalie is also on. Mm -hmm. um, that is easily one of the most entertaining shows along with this one of the two that we have. <laughs> These are our two best shows. Guys, go two watch them. Two out of two, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right well i guess we'll just we'll see you on discord um or the server itself because you can now join games through the actual community website um as we discovered as we tried to start filming this one and somebody joined <laughs> which is amusing anyway um see you guys next time check out the show remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye 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 everyone